Each night we invite to our sukkah Special guests from our history Like Abraham, Sarah, Moshe, Miriam, Even Esther, Bedavi We set another spot at our table Cause each and every person has a place it's fine if it's tired and if it's cozy We'll all move over and make some space And what'll we say? Welcome in, sit on down We're so glad that you came around Can you teach us or tell us where you've been? Welcome in, push be seen so we can invite to our sukkah Special guests, new friends and family Make them feel at home With a big shalom That's called half side or clean We set another spot at our table Cause each and every person has a place It's fine if it's tired and if it's Cozy, we'll all move over and make some space. And what do we say? Welcome in, sit on down. We're so glad that you came around. Can you teach us or tell us where you've been? Welcome in, Ushpizim. Welcome in, Ushpizim, one more time. Welcome in, Ushpizim! All right, everyone, let's talk a little bit about how to make this song more fun and interactive if you're teaching it to kids. Like most of the songs I've been writing these days, I would gear this to like the kindergarten through fourth grade set. Um, what is would be good is to use this as an opportunity to, to talk about the traditional Ushpizim and Ushpizot some of which are mentioned in the song, but the rest of them are up to you to mention. And like if Avraham were coming to your sukkah, what would you do to make him feel welcome? And you can use examples that Avraham actually did, right? You bring them food, bring them water, run out to greet them, be excited to greet them. Have your students think about these things and make a little list about what you would do if one of these Jewish celebrities from our history were coming to your sukkah. Then have them think, what if a guest from today were coming to your sukkah? Someone you met at synagogue or a friend from school or a member of the family. And have them make the connection that it's the same thing. We want to welcome everyone with excitement, with joy, and with hachnasad or chim in the same way. In terms of actually singing the song, um, this would be a good one for the kids to just sing. For the repeating uh, second part of the verse, we set another spot at our table because each and every person has a place. It's fine if it's tight and if it's cozy, have the kids get like all close next to each other. We'll all move over and make some space, have them move over and make a little space and then say, okay, our guest is coming, everyone stand up. Have them stand up and they can repeat this part after you, right? Welcome in, they say, welcome in, sit on down, sit on down and they can sit in their seats. We're so glad that you came around. They can shake hands with a partner. Can you teach us or tell us where you've been? To their partner, they can say, where have you been? Because that's fun for kids. Where have you been? Welcome in, Ushpizin. And if you want, they can jump up and say, Ushpizin, so that they'll remember that word by repeating it. And then they'll be standing for the verses, or you can have them sit back down after jumping up for Ushpizin. Okay, everybody sit back down. So we can invite to our sukkah, do the next part, and then when you get to the end, say, okay, everybody stand up, our guests are coming. If you want, you can even have a teacher or a clergy member in your synagogue or where someone special, just that the kids haven't seen before, come in and you can practice being welcoming to them. And those could be some ways to make this song a lot more fun. Thanks everyone, and have a wonderful Sukkot. Mm -hmm.